So this is an upper body focus flow. So mainly focusing on the shoulders, the thoracics, and the, across the front of the chest a little bit, as well as the low back. So this is a perfect pre-workout, warm-up kind of mobility flow. Equally, if you're just feeling a little bit tight and tense in those areas, then this is a quick little stretch that you can do at the beginning of the day that will hopefully leave you feeling a little bit less tight, a little bit less tense, and a little bit freer. So we're just going to start standing up. So taking the feet about hip width, so feet directly under those hips. Give the shoulders a big roll. So just trying to lose the tension from the shoulders, from the back. And just get that nice stance, that position. Tip the chin down into the chest and really draw the navel into the spine. Round the shoulders and let those arms grow really heavy. We're just going to start to roll slowly down. Maybe if it's first thing in the morning, you're a little stiff. Maybe soften those knees just a little bit. Coming all the way down, trying to take those fingertips down towards the floor. If that's too much, you can take blocks or bricks underneath your hands. And just coming down and placing... Hands flat on the floor, and then slowly roll up. So press into the feet, draw the navel into the spine, slowly roll up. So this is a really nice low impact way to get into that low back. It feels really good on that low back. Come back up to standing roll. The shoulders do this one more time. So chin to chest. Let the shoulders roll, navel to spine. Heavy hands and arms. Try and keep those legs as straight as you can. Again, if the hamstrings are really screaming at this point, then put that little bit of softness, a little bit of bend into the knees, come down. Just rock it out a second between the heels and the toes. The more weight you put into the toes here, the more of a stretch you're going to get into those hamstrings, into those glutes. And then keeping the feet hip width apart, just walk the hands forward, come into downward dog. Hands at shoulder width. So we're just going to start with the knees bent, with the heels lifted, and really concentrate on lengthening through that spine. So maybe putting a little bit of movement. So look between the ankles or the knees. Just really think about le that length between the fingertips all the way up the arms, root to the tailbone, and then just top pedal in the feet. So press down one foot and then another. Again, really pressing into those hands, feeling that stretch all the way across the shoulders. And then you can come down onto all fours. And then sink it back to child's pose. So send the seat back towards the heels, extend the arms out, and just shift the weight from side to side. So pressing the ribs there into the thighs. Again, really feeling that stretch into the shoulders. And then coming into puppy pose. So using this position that you're in now, tilt the chin up, and then you're just going to creep the fingertips forward. So chest is trying to reach the floor, creep those fingertips forward, lift the hips. So if the chest and the chin do touch the floor, just think about really deepening that posture here. If you're here in this position and they're not making contact with the floor, try to avoid tucking that head and try to keep that gaze upwards. Really think about drawing the shoulders away from each other. Think it back into child's pose to so sink the seat back. Again, movement if that feels good. And then one more time, so gaze forwards, chest to the floor, creep those fingertips forwards. Coming into that puppy pose, just taking a couple of breaths here. Gaze forwards. Nice, coming up into all fours. So coming into tabletop, I'm gonna take a big breath in, reach up with the right hand, trying to aim for palm to ceiling here and then thread it through. So you're trying to keep those hips as square as possible. What we're trying to do is not kick that right hip out, keep them nice and square. So we're working into the upper body there. Thread it through. Do that one more time, big breath in, open it out, and then thread it through. Switching it out to the other side. Big breath in, hips nice and square, palm to ceiling, thread it through. Remember to work with your range of motion, to work with your body. If you're not quite there, if the palm's not quite at the ceiling, just taking it to your end range. And then take it through. Nice. Coming back to centre. Just coming back, coming back, seat onto heels. Just clasping those hands, press them away, tuck the chin down into the chest, and really press those fingertips away. So feeling that opening all across the back of the shoulders, 
almost imagine that you're trying to tear the shoulder blades away from each other. And then keeping that clasp, take the palms up to the ceiling and then take a side bend. So coming over onto the right. So stretching all the way down that left side body, really reaching those palms up, taking it over to the other side. And then taking a twist. So you're just going to take left hand to left hip, looking over, left hand to right hip, sorry, looking over that right shoulder, sitting up nice and tall. If that's too much to the neck, just bring it back into a neutral position. If not, then seeing if you can gaze over that shoulder, take it round the other way. So right hand to left hip, keeping this left hand nice and close to the body. So we're trying not to collapse down here, but sitting up nice and tall. Again, if you need a bit of height, you can place a hand on an object here. Come back to centre. Just place the hands now into the small of the lower back and just press those elbows together, lift the chest, lift the chin. Starting to work into the front of those shoulders now. And then come down into a seated position. So the same kind of thing as we've just done. Place the fingertips so they're placing, so they're facing forwards. Just shift the hips a little bit away. We're going to come into a reverse tabletop now. So feet are hip width, hands are shoulder width. Take a big breath in. Come into your reverse tabletop. So we feel that stretch on the front of the biceps, into the triceps, engage those glutes. If that's too much for the neck, then just coming into a neutral position here. If not, then just hold it here, take a big breath in. As you exhale, release. I'm going to flip the fingertips this time so they're facing backwards. Just crook them backwards a little bit, shift the hips forwards, and then come into that nice stretch across the front of the body. Again, looking forwards, or if you can, just extending that head back. You can extend the legs out as well, just to add a little bit more. So really working into that chest and into that front body. Taking a couple more breaths here. And then gently coming back into that child's pose. So coming back, sinking the seat to the heels, creep those fingertips out ahead, forehead down. Again, movement from side to side if that feels good. And you're just going to work it forwards into that puppy pose again. So gaze up, chest down towards the floor, creep the hands forward, lift the hips above the knees. Just notice if that feels any different. Maybe there's more depth now. One more time, sink it back to child's pose. Try and bring that chest down, lift the chin, creep the fingertips forward, come forwards into that puppy pose. So keeping those hands about shoulder width apart. And then melt that chest and chin down if you're here. Then again, Chin is lifted. And then sink it back, come into child pose. This time just bring the hands down by the side, forehead down. Just close off the eyes, just take a second, just take a couple of breaths. And then take it back. So tuck the toes under. Coming in to that reverse Jefferson curl again. So lift the hips up, tuck the chin, let the arms grow heavy, navel to spine, ground into the feet and slowly roll up to stand. Again, keeping those knees as straight as you can. When you get to the top, give the shoulders a big roll. And do one more round here. So chin to chest, slowly roll down. Arms are heavy. Keep those legs as straight as you can. When you get there, just pause for a second and then slowly roll up, ground into those feet, slowly roll up. When you get there, sweep those hands up, catch hold of the left wrist with the right fingertips, lifting up and then take a side bend. And then switching it out the other way. And then coming back to centre, give those arms a big roll and you are done.
So hopefully that feels a little bit lighter, a little bit more free, a little bit less tense in that upper body region. Remember, work to your body. So don't force or push anything that doesn't feel right. Over time, if you carry on with these kinds of routine, if you carry on with these kind of stretches, then you will find a little bit more ease, a little bit more range of motion in those areas. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.